Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Please go ahead and subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Finally, Rivers Police speaks on the report of DPO shooting a specter to death, reviews what happened. The River State Police Command has denied reports circulating on social media that a divisional police officer, DPO, shot an inspector attached to his division. According to the spokesperson of the command, Grace Iringe Koko, in a statement released on Thursday, there was neither a shooting nor a police facility called Ninth Mile Police Station in any part of River State has contained in the trending publication. Iringe Koko described the publication as the handwork of mischievous elements aimed at creating panic in the mind of the public, disaffection and disaffection within the police. The statement went on to notify the general public that no such incident had been reported in any part of the command. It further clarified that there was no division known as Ninth Mile Police Station in River State and that no record shows that the named DPO was serving in River State. The command stated that there had been no shooting incidents in the command formation, divisions and tactical teams since January 2023. The publication is therefore a figment of the imagination of some mischievous persons who wants to create fear in the minds of a public and create rancor and disaffection within the police. The Commissioner of Police, Okon F. Young, affirmed that the River State Police Command is committed to exercising the highest level of professionalism in the discharge of its onerous responsibilities. He urged all law-abiding citizens in the state to go about their lawful businesses without fear, as the police are well able to protect them. The incident highlights the dangers of a misinformation and fake news which can have serious consequences. Yeah, we all know about, you know, fake news and whatnot, you know. There are cases where an incident that have happened like years ago, years back, will start trending as if it's happening at the, at the moment, it's currently happen, happening, and people will start, you know, get, will start getting agitated, thinking that that event is just taking place, not knowing that, you know, it has happened long ago. That is why on WhatsApp now, you can no longer broadcast, um, send broadcast message to as many people as you want, you know, the numbers have been limited because they want to try and cope fake news. We know how fake news works. But on the other hand, hmm, our police force, we know how these people, <laughs> we know how dishonest these people can be, you know. We know how <laughs> kind, <laughs> let me put it mind mildly, we know how kind and affectionate. <laughs> these people can be you know they you know how terrible they can be towards each other not to even talk about you know citizens that are, that they are supposed to protect we know how they molest assault harass people we know how they would follow yahoo people to the atms and collect money and threaten them until those yahoo guys what we end up giving them money you know, policemen that are not in uniforms will stay on the road collecting bribe, claiming they are policemen. 
Policemen that are not in uniforms will be following your woo boys up and down. We even follow them to the ATMs, you know, to withdraw money. We all, all know how dishonest these people can be. And there have been cases of, you know, harassment, assault, even within themselves. There have been these, there was a time this video, there was a video that went viral about a woman, like a, 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 a woman that is not young. I'm talking of a woman that should be in her late 40s or 50s, who is a police officer you know, accused a fellow police officer of assaulting her because she refused his his advances, sexual advances that he was throwing at her. You know, she came out, she made the video and everything. And before you know it, the police denied and said there was nothing like that. Uh, probably saying that she wasn't even one of them, that there is no story like that. So we've seen, you know, these happen repeatedly, repeatedly. The police will, will come out to deny stuff that we all know that is the fact. You know, they will come out to deny it. And this will not be an exception. That is what I'm trying to say. This situation would not be an exception. There was a story that came out saying a DPO, you know, shot, shot a subordinate that is serving under him and now the police are coming out to say oh it is fake news you know you know how people blame everything on fake news at the end of the day even the government blamed NSAS on fake news they were saying the massacre never happened that it was fake news they were always the end result the uh, the the most logical excuse or the the escape route that most of these government officials and the uh, police officers are likes the, the, the most logical excuse the thing that they, they can come up with usually is that it is fake news <laughs> because they know that right now fake news is a thing fake news exists you know there is the wide wide spread of fake news around the country you know they know how how fake news have been going viral and you know fake news is a thing I would not deny that that is why they have always you know they have always thought of you know, using fake news as the sq well let me know what you all think in the comment section do you think this is actually a fake news or do you think this actually happened because it might just be that this inspector is trying to save face and if he knows one or two high-ranking police officers it will cover up for him that is it let me know what you think in the comment section guys subscribe if you haven't thank you very much for always watching and leaving a comment in the comment section i will see you in my next video bye for now